Good afternoon, Piscianos. Happy Easter, guys. Thank you to everyone that has liked, commented, subscribed, done personals, and gave donations. I know I said I was going to do some personals yesterday, but I was having a really good day yesterday. It was like one of those ice cubes day, you know, like today was a good day type of day. So I just enjoyed it and I kept it going. But I will do her personals today. I'm going to do... Um, Four 30-minute readings, um, unlimited questions for $60. So the first four payments that I receive, that's what I'll do. Anything after that, I will just refund. Okay. Let's do a you and them reading. You and them. Spirit, angels, ancestors, and higher beings, please help me with this message today for Pisces and Pisces person. Pisces and Pisces person. Now I got the song in my head. Today was a good day. Shake them up, shake them up. Yeah, I even won money too. I went to the casino, had a great meal, couple drinks, good company, got a massage, did my nails, finally opened over a year, I have not done my nails. All right, you and them. Pisces, this is your side. This is your person's side. And this is the outcome. It can go vice versa. Please take it how it resonates. Loving it. Ooh, very interesting. These faces, they're talking to me. Pisces, I'm gonna start on your side. You got this um, beautiful energy right now. For some of you, I definitely feel like you might be involved with someone new. Um, I get that because the world card is like, okay, I'm starting a new beginning in my life. I'm starting a new relationship, not just with somebody else, but with myself, my intuition. But then I see this page of cups and it's like looking over at their side. And I do feel like it's a longing as well for some people, missing this love loving this connection that they had with this person but it's like you accepted that it's over but you still love them but i also feel like it's the energy is telling me that you know you deserve better let's go to this your person's side king of swords five of swords the nine of wands in the reverse they definitely want to communicate. That's what the King of Swords is telling me. They definitely want to communicate. The problem with them is, what's that saying? You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Um, yeah, I get the sense that you they are saying to themselves, like, they're not going to change. They don't feel that they did anything wrong. It's weird because it feels like they want to make things right with you, but they also feel like they don't think they did anything wrong. It's like they're just ignoring whatever the circumstance happened here with you. They just wanna ignore it, kinda of like brush over it, move past it. The Five of Swords tells me that it's a manipulation tactic. It, it's like they know very well what they did, but they don't wanna talk about it. They don't wanna bring it to light because that's not gonna help their case with you. So it's like they're trying to find ways to kinda of sweep it under the rug. There's this weird energy that's building with them. They're, this nine of wands here, I feel like they're tired of not being around you. And I get the energy that they want to just figure out a way to be together again. Let me go a little deeper on their scent, on their side. Tell me more about Pisces person. It's like they want to be with you. They don't wanna address what happened. 
they're tired of being without you. Tell me more. Yeah. Okay. There's the hermit card, which talks about make taking action. So they're definitely taking action. They definitely want to talk to you and communicate with you again. Um, the way that they're doing it is very shysty, though. The Nine of Swords is telling me that they do feel bad, but not bad enough to say, I'm sorry, you know, this was my fault. Let's address this issue. It's coming very, the energy here is very underhanded. It's very like, I don't know, they think you're stupid or something, Pisces, and maybe they could just show up, you know, be nice to you, and you're going to sweep everything under the rug. They're so tired of being alone. They're so tired of wondering of what you're doing. They just want to know. They don't want to wonder anymore what you're doing. This is what the Nine of Swords and then the Nine of Wands and the reverse is telling me. It's like, I'm tired of guessing what Pisces is doing. I'm tired of looking at their social media as opposed to actually living life with them. All right, tell me more about Pisces. So yeah, Pisces, expect for them to try to come and communicate with you, but it's not going to be in the manner that you want. They don't want to address the issue. Tell me more about Pisces. This beautiful energy of moving forward, of keeping love, of yes, missing them, of wanting to be with them again. Thinking about it too. The Page of Cups, thinking about it. Maybe I should, maybe I should just talk to them. That's what you're saying. If you want to talk to them, go ahead, but they're not going to admit to anything they did wrong. They may not even try to talk about the issue. Tell me more about Pisces. Two of Pentacles in the reversal. Ace of Pentacles. Pisces, you're really thinking about communicating with them again. The Two of Pentacles tells me that you are definitely ready to talk to them. Um, I get the sense here that you have a long list of things that you want to say and you want to get it off your chest. You're no longer debating about whether or not you should communicate. Is it good to communicate? It's more so like, let me give you a piece of my mind. This Ace of Pentacles is telling me that you feel that it's going to make you feel better because I feel like you're trying to progress in certain areas of your life, but having this person kind of looming over your head without getting some type of ending clarity, you know, clarity, that's what it is, without getting some type of clarity is not helping you to um, move forward, to manifest with your projects, to even just feel better about yourself and your life. So you definitely feel like you want to put an end to this situation so that you can move forward. And I think an underlining, you're definitely feeling like maybe you guys can rekindle. There's an underlining feeling. The first feeling I get is I just want to let them know and clarify things. And then there's something underlining there that maybe, maybe it's possible. All right. Let's look at the outcome. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I definitely feel like the cards are saying, Pisces, that you guys do need to communicate. Um, what it feels like is that this person is going to try to really strong to not admit their faults, to brush with the situation, whatever they did to you under the rug. But the Knight of Pentacles is telling me that you guys need to communicate in order for the both of you to kind of progress. If you have something to say to them, Pisces, say it. Don't let them brush the situation under the rug. Put out all your feelings, all your emotions, how they made you feel, because that's going to help you to finally close this chapter out in your life. I think it's this weird stuck in between place that you feel like you're not, that's why you can't progress, because you have things that you want to say that you're not saying. All right, tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this is what I'm feeling. The Seven of Pentacles tells me like you're, you're, you're thinking about things, you're kind of working on things, you have a whole dialogue in your head of what you want to say, but then it's like you kind of let it out because you have to let it out. That's the energy I feel here, Pisces. Like you have to let what you're feeling out. Don't let this person bulldoze you over. And I don't think you will. 
but I, I get the strong sense here that this person does not want to admit faults and does not want to talk about the real issue. Okay. Let's go a little deeper with the Oshos. You do want clarity. You do want to communicate with them. You do want to talk. It's affecting other areas of your life. And I, I definitely see where you feel that talking to them is going to clear that up. So that way you can progress and move forward. Put an end to this. No talking. And not, not just no talking, but not talking about the things that need to be spoken about. Tell me more about Pisces person. Tell me more about Pisces person. Nine of Pence swords right there is telling me they, they do miss you. They do regret things. They just have a problem with communicating. They can take action, but not communicate well. Tell me more about Pisces person. The source, yeah. The source in the reversal, Pisces, it tells me that this person, um, they're not coming from the right place. When it's upright, it says, okay, you figured out the source of the problem. You figured out, you want to communicate correctly. You want to come correct. When it's in the reverse, it's like, it's not, it's not the right place. You know, it's like, okay, yeah, I desperately want to talk to Pisces. I want to talk to them again. I feel terrible. You know, I want to take some action. Let me figure out some underhanded way to not, you know, get myself in like implemented kind of like in trouble for what it is that I did because I'm not, I'm sorry, not really sorry. Like this is the way I am. This is the way I will continue to be. So the energy here is not coming from the right place. I definitely feel like whatever they did to you, Pisces, they will do it again. Because if this was the source up here, I would definitely feel like it's coming from a good whole place, but it's not. It's just they don't want to feel these bad feelings anymore. And they do miss you. I feel like they do stalk you. I feel like you stalk them. Tell me more about Pisces. Oh patience this is what i got when that card flipped out with the patience pisces i feel like you have become the queen or king of patience there it is again sorry guys and i think i hit that right on the head right like you guys are very patient you've learned how to be patient you've learned your patience on another level at this point because i think you've been being patient for a while now You've been developing, you've been growing, you've been maturing. And I think I said that old, earlier, like you've been maturing. I feel a maturity coming out of you. For some of you, I sense pregnancy. So this is a pregnancy card as well. So be careful out there. Okay. I feel like you are waiting for the right time, but at the same time, you've realized that you're number one and you're the priority first. But like I said, uh, for a lot of you, in order to be able to progress with other areas of your life, you need to kind of clarify with this person on the issue and how it made you feel and what you, what you went through, so to say. All right, let's go into, tell me more about this outcome. Yeah, the outcome is not going to go great. I don't feel, Pisces, that you're going to love the outcome. What you will like from communicating with them is if you tell them the truth, if you tell them exactly how you feel without allowing this person to brush the seriousness under the rug. That's the, that's the only way you're going to feel better about this communication with this person. I feel a strong energy from the both of you. The only difference is your undertone is a lot more peaceful, is a lot more loving, is a lot more patient. Their undertone is sneaky. You're both going to stand your ground though. That's what the rebel is telling me. 
be careful, Pisces. Don't give in and don't get pregnant by this person because you just, you know, decided to give in. Just be careful. Could be this person, could be someone else. Like this is a pregnancy card, so I don't know what that means. All right, Pisces, I hope you like the reading. Please like and subscribe and thank you.